Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Slumper Kai Guy channel. In my previous video about this car, problems to expect, a lot of people expressed their concern that this car is so unreliable they wouldn't actually want to get one. Well, in this video I'm going to show you all of the reasons and talk about all of the reasons why I think you should get a Mini Cooper R56 just like this one. Let's face it, these cars may be unreliable, but the grin factor outweighs the problems, at least in my opinion. To start with, I want to talk about the amazing value that you can get with this car. You can pick one of these up for probably under $6,000 in decent condition and not a ton of miles. And options such as high quality leather seats, uh, Harman Kardon sound system, all the attention to the detail that went in on the inside of the car creates a remarkable interior for relatively inexpensive used car. Continuing with the interior, it has a cool ambient lighting system. Overall quality and attention to detail is just great on this car. So to me, this creates a tremendous value. You're getting a legitimately super cool, stealthy, luxury brand sports car for Econobox prices. Where else are you gonna get that? For such a small car, it is very comfortable and practical. You can actually fit a good amount of people and stuff inside the car. You also get a very good balance between power and gas mileage. So you get tons of miles per gallon. And of course, this car is very understated. You know, there's, there are those days when I want to, you know, show off and drive around and want people to look at me. But then there's other days where I just want to have fun and drive something unique that people might look at but not expect it to be fast or, or unique or cool or fun or anything like that. So as far as value, there's nothing currently in the market that's comparable to a Mini. It's a very safe, luxury, economy car that's a blast to drive. Another reason you should get a Mini Cooper S is because it's so customizable. You can do fairly cheap mods on this car and actually see some results. Once you see those results, you can enjoy them, you know, day to day driving to work and, and whatnot. But you can also take it to a track. This makes a great, great track car. Minis are just a perfect format for customization. And I don't necessarily mean performance modifications. Of course you can do those, but if you've ever been to a mini meet or a car show where there's a lot of minis, you'll see how many different and unique minis there are based on this same car. So you can make yours as unique as you like for not a lot of money. And also this car comes in many unique colors from factory, you know, yellows and reds and blues and all kinds of fun colors that you don't necessarily see on many other mainstream cars. Also, there's a really cool second shade here. I like that. My favorite reason to get a Mini Cooper S is drivability. This car truly shines when you're taken on some twisty, curvy roads and you get to experience how nimble and how agile this car truly is. It truly is fun to drive, it feels zippy, and the driving characteristics make me feel like I'm driving an adult version of a go-kart. It's also a tiny, fun car that's perfect for learning how to drive a manual. And in fact, this is the car that I learned how to drive a manual just last year. To some people, this car is not fast, and it may not be fast in a straight line. However, it allows you to learn how a car handles, especially because most S variants are a manual car. So you learn car control, you learn how to change gears, you learn how to engage with the car. And of course, it handles like a dream. Minis do their best work on a track or some curvy roads, as I mentioned earlier. So my plan for this car was actually to take it to a track day or you know check out SCCA, you know, for any autocross or track days that are available in my area. However, current situation does not allow me to do that this year, so I might have to wait until next year. For now, I'm just going to enjoy driving the car locally, go around corners, hear that little turbo spool up, and enjoy the car as is. To summarize drivability, this may not be the fastest car in the world, but it definitely teaches you how to be a better driver. So to me, this car is fast enough to get me in trouble, but it's not gonna get me killed, especially on you know on local roads and on the track. And let's not forget that this Mini is great for city driving as it's small, it'll fit on most roads, alleys, whatever else you like, and you can even create your own parking spots. It's getting a little dark here, so I'm gonna move on to my last point, and that's personality. I mean, look at this car. It's a quirky looking, classically styled, basically a toy that you can drive every day. Who wouldn't love this car? This car comes with a personality and a completely different driving experience, especially if you come from an SUV or a big 
sedan. It's probably the most fun out of any reasonably priced car on the road. Once you buy a Mini, you join a worldwide Mini community. And these are some of the nicest people you're going to talk to. Over the last year or so, I've communicated with, you know, many different Mini owners. Some old Minis, some new Minis, uh, regular versions, S versions, the fancy versions, whatever you like. And you'll never see less pretentious people uh, than in the Mini community. And to end this video, I wanted to say that life is too short to drive boring cars. Drive a Mini. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.